It has been very dynamic uh, and uh, we have done a lot. Uh, a lot of escorts for the World Food Programme and Amazon uh, into and out from uh, Somalia. And it feels uh, good to have uh, accounted uh, several uh, metric tons of food for the Somali people. That really helped them, I hope. Uh, we've also been doing baseline operations several times up in the ROTC, uh, safeguarded uh, the traffic uh, through the, the uh, international recognized transit corridor in the Gulf of Aden. And we have, uh, during our mission here, experienced that uh, the piracy is still here, but we have uh, changed our tactics uh, and adapted to their behavior. And because of that, I think we have achieved a better result lately. Uh, there's also uh, uh, a lot of activities being done from our side to collect uh, intelligence both along the Somali coast and also out at sea and foremost with our air assets, our MPRAs. So it has happened a lot, it's very dynamic. Uh, things change with a very short notice. Uh, we have to stay flexible and uh, be vigilant all the time. That, that's of course a big challenge and before coming here uh, that was on my mind. Uh, how, how will that work? Uh, after this mission now, four months, I, I can tell you that uh, that's uh, something who have worked very well. Uh, excellent, I would say. And uh, that's the strength of this operation, to be uh, multinational. In my staff I've had uh, 11 different nations represented. And uh, they have been as a natural liaison officer w with those ships in my own task force and also in the other task force operating the, the Somali waters. So th that's actually a strength. And we are a little bit th different in our cultures perhaps. We have different languages, but uh, in the Navy uh, uh, business uh, we are very equal. Uh, and if we have uh, common goals and common tasks, uh, we have a lot of experience. And when that's put together, we get good results as well. Very good results, I would say. I'm pretty sure that uh, the Admiral Condro, he will take uh, measures uh, in his own judgment and he's an excellent officer and I'm, all his staff and uh, his ship, they are very com uh, competent uh, gang and uh, what I will foresee that the, the piracy, unfortunately, it will uh, continue. However, uh, as I said before, we have uh, changed our operational uh, tempo uh, and modus operandi a little bit and I think we have taken measures to counter the pirate, piracy in a better way and we will be even better in the future and that, that's something that uh, the Admiral Condro will continue on, I'm pretty sure. I feel honored and privileged and also I have gained a lot of experience from this operation. But foremost, I want to, to, to address uh, the people in the operation, the personnel, men and women of EU NAVFOR. They have done a tremendous good job uh, and they are outstanding. And I've seen it for, for, from uh, close distance uh, uh, and uh, examples on, on where people actually put everything else aside to achieve the common goals of fighting piracy here. Uh, and that's impressive what you can do if you gain uh, people together and uh, if, you, if you have uh, common tasks to, to, to strive for. Uh, I'm impressed and uh, if there is anyone who should be honored, it's the personnel in this operation, not the commander. Uh, in an area uh, comparable to, to the Mediterranean Sea or North America, it's a vast area. It's uh, necessary to work together, uh, to, to coordinate uh, and to cooperate. And we, we are different actors in this area. We can find NATO representative down here in task force, uh, CMF, uh, UNAFO of course, and a lot of single nation uh, doing uh, convoys and escorts uh, do this in the Gulf of Aden. And it's uh, very, uh, I'm very pleased to say that, that we, we are working very well together. We have also common goals to, to, to uh, secure the sea lines of communication and uh, to depress and deter piracy. And uh, 
it's much easier to work when you're in theater. Uh, we are uh, seamen all together uh, and uh, navy men and women and uh, we don't have any uh, political uh, things behind us that, that makes it difficult as long as we, we stay in our box and do the same work. So I'm very pleased with the coordination down here. Uh, I think uh, they behave good, however they can uh, improve their way of implement what we call the best management practice. Uh, take measures, uh, passive mes message uh, on board their, their merchant ship. Uh, we have instructions that actually are being put forward by themselves how to do it. And that uh, helps a lot in, in uh, safeguard yourself from piracy. Makes it diff difficult for uh, pirates to, to, to embark the ship and uh, come into the ship and creates a little time for us to, to uh, if possible, uh, reach them and help them out from the situation. And we have uh, good examples of, of uh, when we have ships uh, that has implement, implemented uh, best management practice, that ship will actually uh, been able to save and to, to, to uh, protect from piracy. And we have also other uh, more sad examples where the attack is over in, in 10 minutes. Uh, it's very frustrating because uh, sometimes if you do things yourselves, you can probably make the situation much better. So I will see uh, increased number of ships uh, reporting to uh, Maritime Security Center Horn of Africa, for example. Uh, I will uh, see also in my dreams a lot of more ships uh, having measures taken on board to, to make it better for, for them and of course easier for us to help them.